if you get this error in counter strike 2 and the error says failed to create dx11 which is direct x11 render device now i will guide you on how to resolve this issue make sure to follow these instructions very carefully now you can resolve this issue by type negative vulcan exactly as it is written here in counter strike steam launch option so launch steam just like this and then right click on your counter strike 2 game and then go here to properties now on the general tab here you will see launch option you'll have to type this which is negative vulcan so just copy it like this come here on the launch option and then type just like so after typing this try to relaunch the game then hopefully this will just fix your problem now if it doesn't fix your issue now follow the another steps here which i'm going to show you now if you have a dual monitor setup like maybe a laptop plus a second monitor set your laptop display at the main display in windows launch the game and set in-game display to your laptop screen exit the game switch windows main display to your second monitor relaunch the game it should now open on the second monitor normally and then this should just fix your problem so if you have a dual monitor setup like a laptop and a second monitor make sure to follow these instructions here i actually found this helpful guide from the cs2 subreddit as someone is facing the exact same error as you can see here failed to create dx11 render device and someone just provided this helpful guide here as you can see hello i did solve this issue and we leave it here for future reference I have a dual monitor setup, laptop plus second monitor. The error was occurring when my laptop display was the main display in Windows and I had set my second monitor at the game display and switched the main display without changing the setting in game in Windows later and I got the error. After I noticed, after I noticed these threads, I switched the main display back to my laptop monitor, game launched as normal, set in game display to my laptop display, exit the game, switch my switch main display in windows to my second display and launch the game normally it launched in my second display without any problem so if it all fails just try reinstalling your graphics drivers now reinstalling your graphics drivers we are going to use display driver and installer which is called ddu now this can help you clean and restart your drivers from afresh now you can download this through this guru's 3ds official page the link will be available on the description of this video and after downloading this just come to this page here Select here download, download mirror. After downloading it, it will be a zip file. Make sure to extract it. Now, of course, it will be found on your download section. So let's extract this. After extracting this Guru 3D DDU, then it will be found like this. Now open this folder and open this 7 zip file to extract it further. So make sure to double click on it. After double clicking on it, it will extract further and you open the folder here. Now open this folder here. You will find this display driver and installer. But before opening this display driver and installer, make sure to boot into safe mode now type here on the search bar for ms config and open this system configuration now select here on the boot and then make sure to check this safe boot and then just apply changes and then click ok also apply changes and then click ok your pc will restart into safe boot now also restart into safe boot open this display driver and installer now after opening this make sure to just select this select device i'll select gpu and then automatically it will fetch into nvidia now if you're using nvidia to write nvidia if you're using amd to write amd or intel now click this clean and restart now after clean and restart your pc will restart now also to restart make sure to go into your gpu site so go into a gpu site and download the driver and reinstall it some people also suggested that if the latest driver doesn't work try rolling back to the previous one now since i'm using nvidia i'll go to the nvidia site the link will be available on the description for all gpus including intel and amd so perform a manual driver search of course you'll select here geforce i'm using rtx water series so make sure to select according to what your pc have select here find now once it finds it will fetch some drivers here look for the latest driver and then try to download it after downloading it try reinstalling it and then try to check if the problem has been resolved after reinstalling your drivers then if it doesn't work some people also suggested that if the latest driver doesn't work try rolling back to the previous one hopefully this tutorial will help you solve the problem